show you how to cut an onion the correct way. At least my way. That's correct. This is Tito Ortiz. His fingers are bloody, his knife is sharp, his skills are lacking, and yet he is demonstrating to us the proper way to cut an onion. And this is a uh, white onion. His words are slurred, but in his youth, Ortiz expressed himself better. What's changed is anyone's guess. I was nine years old and running with some friends who used to sniff glue all the time. In hindsight, it was a dumb thing to do. I would get real high and hallucinate. I remember realizing years later, long after I stopped sniffing glue, got a lot smarter, that the dreams had become reality. This guy can't even put a fucking sentence together, man. Are you kidding me right now? He's, he's, reaching for, he's reaching for those grapes. He's trying to make his wine, and the wine's already sounding like a violin with that cheese and wine. Words broadly are an issue, and yet Ortiz was chosen to star in Operation Black Ops. This place we're going used to be a concentration camp. Everyone, it's Black Ops. My knife's so sharp. I cut myself. I haven't cut myself in years. Tito's just a really dumb human being. He's, he's not intelligent at all. He's very, very fucking stupid. We open with scenes from a nondescript war that doesn't affect the plot of the film at all and footage of a man being blown up by a landmine. So convincing the filmmakers have decided to show it in slow motion. First, he's a rocket. Then the mine targets only his right arm. The man remains calm. A bit like this guy in the next scene waiting for his cue to celebrate knocking Ortiz down. This book is going to let people know who Tito Ortiz really is. You're going to know everything there is to know about me. And maybe more than you want to know. I'm an Aquarius. An Aquarius to a T. I'm not interested. You could fuck off. Carl Miller. Carl Miller is not in the film. Tito Ortiz does not care. Tito Ortiz does the mission anyway. Always knew I could count on you. More like Operation Crap Drops. Ortiz begins to assemble his team, starting with his oldest and dearest friend, Schroeder, who now coaches football with militaristic precision. Skills. Get those legs moving! Keep them churning, buddy! The domestic life suits you. Ortiz is American, Schroeder used to be in the army. Also, Schroeder's American and Ortiz used to be in the army. Last time I talked to you, you're just sniveling little fingers in my sister's purse. Better than her pants. Have you ever been married? I've been married once uh, with my oldest son, Jacob. This guy was in the Marines and Schroeder wasn't in the army. You're the best technician I know. Oh, you're the only technician I know. Sorry, boys. I'm sitting this one out. I didn't mean to sleep with your sister. Mother. And your ex-wife. Heather was jealous. That was good. One night I was with Jenna and Heather walked up behind her and stuck her finger in her butt. <laughs> Heather said, I'm never going to talk to you again. I don't give a fuck. Well, it's died. I was so sorry. This is just going to leave a black mark on her name, her memory. It's not clear who Alice is. It's not clear why this mission, the dismantling of a Nazi Fourth Reich, also something about a nuclear bomb, would leave a black mark on her memory. But Ortiz and Schroeder are very emotional about it. Have the opportunity to get that son of a bitch. I killed her. And stop a nuclear war. So yeah, Schroeder, I believe in this fucking mission. Okay. He's not a smart guy. Can you not point that thing at me? Don't fuck with me, Noah. Where your right hand is Nick, charm son of a bitch of French roller. Incredible casting. I just wish Brendan Schaub was in it. I told you not show your face again around me, son of a bitch. Someone completely out of touch with reality wrote this. I know you're a CIA, son of a bitch. Ravensbrook, what do you know about it? Not much. For the layman, it has its own Wikipedia entry. Characters feel the need to keep reminding each other of its first sentence. Just that it used to be a concentration camp. It used to be a concentration camp. This place we're going used to be a concentration camp. Being an actor certainly is possible if I just focus and get it done. And I've had people tell me I have the potential to be the next Vin Diesel. But the German, US, a Russian government will have you believe 
This is where he took prisoners. The purpose of this place was to experiment, have enhance genetic code on newly born specimens. You to me some type of super soldier program? I was approached by a porno production company. They said, we'll pitch you a couple of grand if you wear this t-shirt after your fight. The t-shirt said, I just fucked your ass. And my reputation was cemented. A neo-Nazi apologist. An all-around asshole. Dana White is one of the dumbest people I know. So no, this isn't a great plan. Wow. It's black ops. We're talking lowbrow, high profile, behind enemy territory shit. That makes sense. We never fucking existed. Fuck it. I always want to travel again. Fuck it, man. You are one hell of a fucking American. You know what? I'm not a sellout. I'm an American. Oh. Yeah! And at the end of the day, united we stand, and divided we will not fall. So no travel scene, they're now just in Germany at Ravensbrück. Lowbrow, high profile. Three bogs inside. Also, the whole area appears to actually be warehouses. Large sections of the actual Ravensbrück site are still maintained, used by the Russian army until 1994, and open to the public as a site of historical interest. Gotcha, motherfucker. Yes, I do vote. So I guess that entitles me to an opinion, especially about things like war. There are kids fighting and dying in Iraq. They come from poor places, and the only way they can make money is to go to war. Going to Iraq was the first time that Jenna and I had been apart. While I was gone, Jenna decided to have a breast reduction. I had a brand new woman to play with. Cashback. Troda shot, but we're not shown him getting shot, just the aftermath of him shooting people on a rock. Where's Tito? Fuck it. Here comes Cyborg with a gun that only makes noise half the time. The sound editing is hilarious, with people blowing whistles, throwing objects, etc., with no sound at all. Every aspect of the film is treated with this level of care. I thought Tank Abbott was a pretty cool guy. I concur with Dana White. He's not a very bright guy. I think he must have been drunk when I called him because he said, I ain't your fucking dad. I'm not gonna take care of you. But you said you were gonna help me out. Fuck that. I was screwed. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. And then Tito slowly jogs up a small hill, his last scene in the film, more confusing than his first by Tito. While I was in Washington, I went on a tour of the Capitol building, which was totally cool. It was a totally amazing experience for me. There. You're pretty much caught up on my life. The guy from the coffee shop answers a phone call that makes no sense and speaks as if he's reading the script for the first time directly from his desk. Listen to me, you inbred son of a bitch. Then it seems like someone's turned up to shoot him, but they switch angles and let us know no one's there, and then he's shot by no one, and then it ends. Mm -hmm. 